Hi, so we've been making a few things out of bamboo and it is awesome stuff. And if you live in South America, some parts of America and Asia, basically it's everywhere and I believe it's a bit of a weed. If you're in Europe and the UK though and other parts of America, yeah, getting hold of bamboo can be a bit of a challenge, especially at the moment. Now, one thing I've always wanted to do is use recycled newspapers to do some exciting things. I mean, that's an awesome resource. It's absolutely everywhere, and it's a problem how to use it with anything but papier mache. And then I came across a guy called Darcy Turner. Now, Darcy invented this machine that he called the Sticks Machine, S-T-I-X-X. And you can have a look at his YouTube on Darcy Stuff, and you can have a look at his website at www.darcytaylor.com. And he goes into using the Sticks Machine. Now, he's a really generous guy. He's an artist in residence. And he hasn't patented this machine, and he says he's pretty happy if people just pick it up and use it and want to develop it and want to work with it and want to change it. So I haven't talked to him, but he's pretty happy to do all of this stuff, apparently. So I've taken him at his word. Because what I want to do is build a bike out of newspaper. And for that, what, of course, I need is an awful lot of newspaper tubes. Because I want to take this stuff and turn it into something that resembles this. And then we can use all those construction techniques used in bamboo to make our paper bike. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you look at Darcy's machine, then you'll see how it's made. It's basically a few rollers, and you crank a handle, and out comes a very tight newspaper tube. So we're going to give it a go, remaking the sticks machine. Now, we're remaking it because... Although I really do support what Darcy's up to, he wants £600 for his machine. His machine is a, a fairly industrial thing meant for schools and years and years of use, and I don't have £600. So I'm going to try and make it from 70mm waste pipe, builder's board or sintra board, and some plywood. So first things first, let's make some rollers. So to make the rollers, you need a bit of plastic pipe. This is 75mm uh, in diameter and 65mm long. It's 65mm long because the paper we're going to roll is 60mm long. Then we need a couple of discs cut out of the builder's board. And what you do is grab yourself a bit of 8mm bar. And that's 8mm because there's an 8mm hole in there. Feed on one of the discs. Drop it through feed on the other disc on the other end. Now remember this stuff glues like you wouldn't believe with uh, crazy glue, super glue. Impossible to break, the bond is stronger than actual material. So you glue that on and then you wrap the thing in rubber. I happen to have a sheet of EDPM which is exactly what I'm going to use but I guess handlebar tape will do. And what you end up with is a roller just like that and obviously we need two of them. So in video 1084 we went through this actually. We basically used timing belt wrapped around something to make cogs and gears. So I've got a section of timing belt. We can glue it onto there. And once it's glued onto there, it forms a cog. And that would be part of the drive mechanism. Okay, so I put the whole thing in this plywood cradle and those two cogs have been driven by this large cog that I made there using our belt method, which I just love, hey? So I turn that handle, it turns both of these. Now it turns both of these in the same direction. If I put these two cogs together, they would turn in opposite directions. You need to turn them in the same direction. I've taken five sheets of newspaper and rolled them into this loose tube and I'm just testing it. And I'm gonna test it with this. It's an a artist's uh, rubber roller. And if I hold that gently against it and rotate it, and as it begins, I'm sorry, just hilarious, as it begins to tighten up, you increase the pressure on it. And it rolls itself up. I just think that's incredible. The more pressure you put on that, then the tighter that roll actually gets. There we go. A little bit of practice to get this right. I just think that's awesome, hey? So it does in fact actually work. It rolls them up into this stick. Now, I just use this as a test. What I need is not this roller, I need a roller of that length so that we can push on the roller that length and then the whole of the paper is acted on. But the basic machine works actually. All we've got to do now is make that longer roller. We're gonna make that longer roller in the same way that we made these rollers, only from thinner pipe. Okay, so all I've done is add this lever arm where we've got a long roller made out of plastic pipe the same way we made these ones, and then we've got this arm so we can press down on it. So I've got a tabloid. You can do this with broad sheets as well. So you take your 
old newspaper, count five or six sheets. Open them out. Move the bottom sheet. So it's about a finger's depth. This one, fold over to again about a finger's depth, folding that one over, and then it'll easily roll into a loose roll. So you roll it into a loose roll. Now Darcy puts glue on this, and I'm not gonna put glue on it. But you get a very loose roll that, like that, and we take that to the machine. Okay, to do this, you've got your loosely rolled roll, uh, loosely rolled <laughs> roll. And you'll notice that flap that we moved it a finger apart, that's actually sticking away from you. And we start it with this thing, the artist's roller. And if you hold the roller right, turn the handle, that will begin to roll in on itself and sink into the middle of those two rollers. When it's down in the rollers a little bit, then you move your lever arm across Continue to crank and apply a bit of pressure. <laughs> I've got to bolt it down. <laughs> but it is actually awesome because after a few cranks, what you get is your stick. There it is. It's quite strong, actually. Anyway, let me give you a close-up of it. Just to give you a close-up, that's what one of these newspaper sticks looks like when it's been rolled. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I think that's awesome, I really do. I mean, we made quite a little stick there, and obviously I need some tubes of various sizes to start building my newspaper bicycle. If you check out what Darcy's been doing, then he's got um, sculptures and chairs and all kinds of things. But I thought that was really cool, well worth sharing. It's stage one of the newspaper bicycle because we have to make a whole load of tubes in order to make that bike. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to subscribe.